Uh, your, your grace. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. No, wait, what time is it again? What time indeed? Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. Ah, uh, my, my apologies, your grace. <sighs> Jeez, that guy's so nervous he almost forgot to breathe. <sighs> Sorry, forgive my manners. These are the dormitories, which is where inmates sleep. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. In the fortress of Meripede, criminals usually spend most of their time in either the production zone or the sleeping areas. The production zone? What does it produce? Is that where we'll be working? Not necessarily. Though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons. If you have other skills, you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. Wow. The fact that the Fortress of Meripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. As for what we produce, many of the clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Therefore, the Fortress of Meripede is not only a place where criminals serve their sentences, but also a giant machine factory. There's no need for me to get into specifics about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work tomorrow. <laughs> you guys don't love us. Imagine J actually does something like that and I have to call him like that. But I can have a, a bad feeling Twitter is gonna... Oh, I suppose to say X is gonna have a filter with this concept of working hard to earn i can just sense it <laughs> let's move on the tour continues over this way wait what is he doing here <laughs> no. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, you really scared me there. I didn't expect to see you here, uh, Your Grace. <laughs> I thought maybe I was so tired from work that I was starting to see things. The only thing you should be seeing is the work in front of you. Stay focused and keep up the pace. Oh? Is something the matter? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Paimon's just worried about how hard we'll have to work tomorrow. <laughs> Oh no, you're not just gonna end the cutting here. Where he go? What is he doing here? Where is he? Oh great. Oh, hello. Ah, I didn't expect to actually see this one, though. Your Grace? What are you doing in the infirmary at a time like this? Oh, oh no. You didn't injure yourself, did you? Yep, she's her daughter. Not yet, unfortunately for you. But thank you for your concern, Siege Wing. Oh. <laughs> then you must be here for those two. Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary, and Sijuin here is the Fortress of Meripede's head nurse. <laughs> Hello, new faces. They call me the head nurse, but I actually handle all the nurse-related work all by myself down here. Since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patients, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner? Oh, then these two must be some important convicts. <laughs> sure, I'll join the welcome party. Welcome, party. Thank you. Your presence will be the pièce de résistance for today's tour. Oh, 
so the tour part is over now? I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. As for your work, there'll be someone else to guide you through the details. Hmm. Is there anything else? I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just ask if you have any questions? Uh, well, this is your first time here. Paimon's not sure what to ask. Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. You should at least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. Where did she go? I really wish the game actually let the player character just stay in the world like you can just find them and chat with them. I don't need to do the sandy part scene and just to see them. Osmantis I want to see them in the, the same game one, not in our fanfic one. Wait, hey, there's a lucky has nothing to do with luck in this case. I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have to draw lots like everyone else. Oh, you mean the meals are random? Yes, what you get to eat depends completely on your luck. You could say that it's a distasteful little game that Chef Walsey likes to play here in the cafeteria. Paima knew it! If criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, the crime rate in Fontaine would it for sure. <laughs> Excuse me, did I hear you mention Nervulet just now? Oh, I've been wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? Has he been taking care of his health? He seems healthy no matter how you look at him, but he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. I guess he's a worry about her other dead. It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuine. Oh, that's good. But I still feel like it's been too long since I've heard any news about him. No news is good news. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Hmm? But isn't the Fortress of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Well, we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to stay in touch about this and that. Monsieur Nouvellet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels quite effortless. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. In fact, right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nouvellet. But unfortunately, I can only do so until the end of this meal. After this, you two will just be inmates here. I, mean, I, I almost forgot that I'm supposed to recall this and stuff, but I just kind of add how they do all this setup. You're very welcome. Well, your new life awaits. Are you finished eating? Then I recommend that you return to the dormitories and rest. You have work to do tomorrow. Perhaps you were hoping to ask for some special privileges? Sorry, you'll have to use credit coupons like everyone else. It's not as comfy here as you might imagine. Now that I've gotten a good look at you two, I think you're very cute. After all, heavy is the head that wears the cutesy crown. <laughs> I guess I just want to say, just take care of yourself and don't get hurt. The Traveler and Paimon, right? Listen up. As new inmates, the only thing you need to worry about is what to do and when to do it. Don't make any extra trouble for yourself. Your bunks are right over there. Follow me. Huh. 
<sighs> so this is where we'll be sleeping from now on. Oh, Paimon can't believe this. Oh, the days of staying home and reading detective stories are like a dream now. Uh, by the way, Traveler, we saw a lot of things worth investigating just now. Even though the Duke didn't say it too directly, judging from what he said at the end, it seems that he was only welcoming because we know Nouvellet. We are criminals, and Paimon did eat that cake, but we're actually here to help Nouvellet. Hmm... Is it possible that he knows we're here on a mission? Or is Paimon overthinking things? I say 50-50. Yeah, Paimon thinks so too. He probably knew why we came here from the very beginning and intentionally wanted to send us a message. Maybe something like, Hey, I have my eyes on you, so don't try anything funny. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we can go back to Nouvellet empty-handed and say, The dude looks scary, so we gave up. Uh, and besides, the Duke said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nervalette, right? So, we at least need to try. But, Hyman hasn't gotten a clue where we should start our investigation. You mean... Yeah, what is... Although, now that I remember, I think he was still accused of, you know, spying on... That thing on the last case. Yeah, that's what Paimon was thinking too. Paimon almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. Fortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Linny as just another inmate. We worked so hard to help clear Linny and Lynette's names, and yet we turn around and bam! He's in prison anyway! Oh, right! Lenny and Lynette are from the House of the Hearth. They work for the Knaves, so they could be here to investigate too! Huh? Oh, it's a card! Paimon didn't notice it earlier. Hmm, it looks like a magician's prop. Lenny must have left it here. He's in prison and still doing his little tricks, huh? Let Paimon have a look. It was nice to bump into you again. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. What in the world? It's written like he's greeting a buddy on the street. Time of that he'd write something important. You know, I still have my doubts about him because... Yeah, he's a nice guy, but we know that he still has to be of a three in the first place because of the family and all that. I mean, I guess at the end they're just gonna divorce from her three and that, but it's up to see. If you say so, we can ask him what's going on tomorrow. Let's get some rest now. Hey, you're finally awake! Well, it's Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon told them everything, and then Paimon woke up. Hey, come on! It's just a dream, okay? Paimon wouldn't really squeal. Maybe. Hey, lazy bones. What are you still doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over to the production zone. Ah, you must be the catch of the day. Looks like you've got some luck getting assigned this space. Yep, we just arrived yesterday and... Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking! Yes, sir. Oh boy. Listen carefully to my instructions. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. Working around these machines can be very dangerous. Do your job well, and you can eat in the cafeteria after your shift. Get sloppy, and you dine in the infirmary. Anyway, the Fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. 
And it also doesn't want to waste the production potential of any inmate. You got that? Got it! Your job is to use the machine over there to process widgets. Watch carefully, and make sure you step on the pedal at the right time. If the machine gets jammed, then give it a little maintenance with your fist. Here, take this. Bring me the process widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. I'm so bad at this. This one is... tolerable. Though, since the processing is done by machine, the product is all pretty much the same anyway. Alright, I'll pass you for now. And we'll count up how many credit coupons you've earned. scare so easily now? Is there something worrying you these days? Well, you little... The only thing we're worried about was trying to find you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come over here and keep it down. Oh, Lynette! You're here too! You two really are inseparable. That's right. My brother simply can't stand to be away from me. <laughs> I'm actually surprised she's here too. Uh, it's not just Lynette. Fremine is also here. Do you still remember him? Oh yeah. The one that has like one cameo. Oh, you mean that diver from the House of the Hearth, right? Pyro remembers seeing him in the court of Fontaine before. Now hurry up and tell us, how did you end up as criminals this time? court to prove you were innocent, but now it looks like our incredible court battle was for nothing! Sadly, even the teeniest of things can land you in prison these days. I put together a street performance and used the popularity we gained from the Opera House incident to attract a big crowd. And then? Next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show. And then, with the entire audience watching, their wallet suddenly disappeared. My brother was charged with theft, and I was charged as his accomplice, having assisted him in his crime. Okay, you did, did that in intention, didn't you? Just to come here, didn't Wait, how in the world did you rather than get here? And again, should the Dodo still be charged because you tried to spy on them? Like, come on. Uh, it 
really isn't that bad. The missing wallets are all in the leftmost drawer of the Maison Guardianage's big filing cabinet. We just need to see how long it takes to discover them. Yep, we should be released then. In terms of the magic trick itself, I think the performance went perfectly. <sighs> Leave it to Lenny to magic himself into prison. Indeed. Last time I hid my identity from you, I promised that I'd tell you absolutely everything if you were angry about it. No more secrets. So I don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either. At the moment, the House of the Hearth's interests don't conflict with yours at all. We were instructed by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. See, Paimon guessed right. As for what we're investigating, perhaps you haven't heard, but the fortress of Meropede hides a secret. Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect it. The House of the Hearth has been investigating this for a very long time, trying to uncover its mysteries. But recently, all of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished and have not been heard from since. We believe that this is a direct provocation, and it's the reason why we came here. Oh boy, what kind of dark secret we got discovered? Father has somehow managed to confirm that Fossilors does not have Fontaine's Gnosis. Oh, uh, so the Gnosis power, whatever the machine is gonna be. Father has her ways. Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at work. But we trust her conclusions. It was this information that led us to suspect that Fontaine's Gnosis might be in the fortress of Meripede and is related to that secret. So it's all about the Gnosis again. Well, what else? that's about it from our side. How about you two? Did Monsieur Nervulet send you here? Bingo! The name has been applying a what? lot of pressure. She wants I'm to know what happened to Child, so we came here to investigate. I'm a, you're not... Uh... Traveler, are we allowed to tell them? It's kind of late for that. <laughs> you don't need to worry too much about that. She's just asking for a report on Master Child's predicament as a means of pressuring you. Father used this situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the court of Fontaine. She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere. Almost like a bargaining chip. Sometimes you need an excuse to do things you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. Of course, it's not a complete farce. If we do manage to find out what happened to Master Child too, then diplomatic relations with Fontaine could improve, and Snezhnaya might even be able to adjust its stance a bit. Is it just Paimon, or does it feel like we're the only ones who actually care about Child's situation? The relationship between the Harbingers must be as bad as ever. I wouldn't go that far. Father just has different standards than we do when it comes to what can be sacrificed for an advantage. Uh, by the way, I have a suggestion. Why don't we team up? Even though we have different objectives, we're both here to investigate the Fortress of Meripede. It would be more efficient for us to work together. As you know, the House of the Hearth has many reasons to seek the Gnosis, but our highest priority remains resolving the prophesied crisis. You can trust us on that. <laughs> no, 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 I don't trust you. Not even a bit. See, I told you. Is that so? Hmm. Sure enough, it won't be easy to convince them to cooperate with us. Lenny seems to be thinking pretty hard about something. Of course he is. Lenny has been looking forward to a chance to reach an understanding with you ever since last we met. Or, I should say, we were really looking forward to teaming up with you this time. Lynette, just tell them everything, why don't you? It's okay to open up a little. Hmm. 
<laughs> Very prudent of you, and consistent with your behavior since we first met. That's reasonable enough, and I agreed to cooperate on these terms as well. I was prepared for the worst, but you were actually more agreeable than I anticipated. <laughs> All right, then. There's no time to lose. I have some information to share, so listen carefully. Since Lynette and I arrived here, our investigation uncovered the fact that the Fortress of Meripede has a forbidden zone. Most people just clammed up and wouldn't talk, but after asking the right questions, we were able to confirm the existence of the Forbidden Zone from the guards. You should be aware of that while you're investigating. A Forbidden Zone? Oh, could that be where a child disappeared to? You're right, we'll definitely keep that in mind. Good. That's the most suspicious thing about the fortress that we know of so far. We have a few other unanswered questions, and we'll be investigating those as quickly as we can. Anyway, I hope you find our information useful at least. Oh, look at the time. You two must be hungry. You should go to the coupon cafeteria and get something to eat. I'll use my cards to get in touch with you again in the future. Oh, that's just what Paimon wanted to hear! Paimon's starving after all that work today. We can talk more about the investigation later. Let's go get some grub! Really? And they're all gone. Oh, I can just sense a twist. And now I have to go.